Hi, I'm Alan Satoma, California Teacher of the Year Award winner, CEO of Mastery Coding, and a veteran educator with years and years of classroom experience. That's right, live, I can still smell the hot Cheetos on my students' breath, teaching experience. Ain't always pretty on the front lines, that's all I can say. But we're all remote right now, which is why I'm wearing a coat and tie, because it's professional, and professionalism is important. Of course, I'm not wearing pants, but that's because when you are operating remotely, things like pants become optional. Now, why is this important to the world of education? Because remote work, remote teaching, and remote learning are inextricably tied together. You simply cannot be a strong remote worker if you do not know how to be a strong remote learner. And you cannot be a strong remote learner if there is not high quality remote instruction available. This is why all three are tied together, and this is why all three are here to stay. Even if COVID-19 passes soon, remote work is the new normal. Wait, wait, wait. You doubt that remote work is not going to become the new normal? Uh, newsflash, if you haven't heard it before, you're hearing it now. There is a really high likelihood that those who are currently remote working are going to remain as remote workers. Why? Companies save money, they save on parking, they save on office space, and companies love saving money. But studies also show that remote workers are much happier. There's no commute times, there's no annoying colleagues who chew gum with their mouth open, a work environment in which they have the ability to control the air conditioning and hang out with their dog. Win-win on both sides, lots of benefits. However, this means that knowing how to work learn, share, and collaborate remotely is now a career skill that is also going to be part of the new normal. And what's our job as American educators? It's to ready students with the skills they need for success after they leave the confines of the K through 12 environment. And if we do not take this opportunity to recognize that a shift has just occurred with what readiness now means, our students are going to be failed in a uniquely new way. I mean, let's get real here for a moment, raw. The stuff we are not teaching our kids in school are the chickens that are now coming home to roost for working adults. For example, who has been saved from sort of the economic evisceration in society as of late in the workforce? It's the people with the technology skills. I mean, right now, it's so amazing how unemployment's almost at an all-time high, and yet the amount, there's hundreds of thousands of jobs that are open if you have the skills to perform the work that is needed. Skills like coding computer science. And because millions and millions of our current K through 12 graduates were not taught these skills, and it was kind of like an elective instead of a critical literacy, well, this right here has created a big problem. And going forward, it's only going to be exacerbated if we desire to just go back to the status quo. Yes, we're going to go back to our classrooms and face-to-face -face teacher interaction is fantastic. Tons of research proved the efficacy of a real teacher in a real classroom. However, we cannot deny that remote learning offers variety depth, subject matter experts, and a spectrum of ways that real live schools just simply can't match up to. So don't go back to the status quo. And when you think about onboarding educational resources, make sure that they toggle. Make sure that they can be taught live and they can be taught remotely and they can seamlessly go back and forth. Remember, it does not have to be either or. Remote learning is here to stay. And you know what that means? It means that wearing pants to work is also here to stay for a little bit. At least sometimes. I'm Alan Satomer. Good luck with your efforts.